Hi, I'm Jack Huber from ESPN News. We're outside the hotel here at the MLB All-Star Game in D.C. asking some fans what they think about the upcoming All-Star Game. Now, give us your opinion. Who do you think is going to win? Who are some players that you're looking forward to see? Uh, I think the AL will win by a landslide. They just have all the best players, in my opinion. Um, I'm looking forward to see the Chris Sale starting for the AL team because he leads the league in strikeouts and in pitcher war. Uh, for the NL starter, I think it has to be Max Scherzer because he's just a dominant pitcher and he's in his hometown. Um, and I'm looking really excited to watch the home run derby and some nice defensive plays in the All-Star game. Who do you think is going to go big in the All-Star game by hitting? I think that Javi Baez will have a big day and maybe hit a home run or two. Who knows? Now, if I could just scoot here. Big talk has been about the snubs of the MLB game. People that, players that people think should be in the game that didn't make it. Now I hear that you two have strong opinions on this. Let's start with you. All right, so for the National League, I think one of the biggest snubs has to be Francisco Civelli. When Buster Posey announced he wasn't going to be in the game, they, the uh, National League decided to replace him with Yadier Molina. Even though Francisco Civelli has the best on base percentage of all National League catchers and has a much better OPS, defensively, Civelli's also thrown out 12 base stealers this year, while Yadi's only thrown out four. Civelli's just better all around than Yadi or Molina has been this season. Let's stick with the National League. Do you have another National League opinion? Yeah, my um, opinion on the National League snub has to be Odubel Herrera, the center fielder for the Philadelphia Phillies. He's batting 276 with 15 home runs and 51 RBIs. Two of the outfielders on the National League squad include Christian Yelich and Lorenzo Cain, both from the Milwaukee Brewers. And I don't think it's fair to have two Milwaukee Brewers outfielders over this one of the flashiest and swaggiest players in the league, Odubel Herrera. Now, a lot of people are picking the AL over the NL, like you. So, when you hear about snubs on such a favorite team, on such a high-powered team, you got to think it mu they must be really good. So, who do you think from the American League should have been on the team? Yeah, the AL is definitely the stronger, stronger team, in my opinion. But they could be even better if they had Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos is not on the team, but George Springer is. Nick Castellanos is a 306 batting average. Springer's is just 251. Castellanos' slugging percentage is also way better than George Springer. It's not even close. Castellanos is having a much better year and should be in D.C., not George Springer. Do you have another opinion on a different player? Yeah, the second baseman for the Oakland A's, Jed Lowry, I think deserves it over Glaber Torres of the New York Yankees. The rookie Glaber Torres has had a phenomenal year, don't get me wrong, but he just doesn't have a big enough sample size over the second baseman, Jed Lowry. Lowry already has more home runs and the same amount of RBIs with 200 less at-bats than he did last year. Also, he is second in the league in war, while Torres is fifth in the league. And it just proves that Jed Lowry definitely got snubbed from the All-Star team this year. Well, I think that we're all looking forward to see how this game plays out. I'm Jack Huber from ESPN Sports. Thanks for watching.